you can create a variety of fun projects with FHSM 508 multifunctional domestic sewing machine. This machine is easy to use for beginning and advanced sewers alike. Its features include sewing sleeves, automatic thread rewind, and eight different stitches to make your sewing more colorful. It comes with a built-in sewing light and adjustable high and low speed. You can change the presser foot to sew different fabrics and crafts. Features such as forward and revert sewing, a drawer, a built-in thread cutter, and a foot paddle will make your sewing more fun and convenient than ever. Now, let's look at the parts of the machine. There is the take-up lever, upper thread tension dial, needle clamp and screw, bottom bobbin, pattern selection dial, hand wheel, reverse lever, power and speed switch, thread cutter, the light and the button to turn it on, drawer, bobbin winder pane, bobbin winder stop, foot pedal input, AC, DC power input, bobbin winder tension disc, presser foot lifter, presser foot. Now that we know all the parts, we can get ready to sew. Before you use the machine, make sure the power stitch is in the off position to avoid accidentally turning the machine on. Using the foot paddle, connect the foot paddle by inserting the jack into the foot paddle input socket. Then you can use the foot paddle to turn on the machine instead of using the hand switch, so it's easy and convenient. Caution, make sure the foot paddle is unplugged from the machine when you are not using it, so the sewing machine won't accidentally start up. Threading the machine, winding the bobbin. First, put an empty bobbin on the bobbin winder pin. Push the bobbin to the right, towards the hand wheel, to fix the bobbin. Unwind some thread from a bigger spool. Put a thread around the bobbin winder tension disc. Put it through any one of the metal holes in the bobbin. Hold onto the thread. Wind the thread clockwise around the bobbin several times and turn on the power switch to start winding. When you have enough thread wound on, turn off the power switch to stop winding. Push the bobbin to the left, away from the hand wheel, cut the thread, and take the bobbin off. Caution! Make sure there is no thread in the machine before you wind a new bobbin, because this could jam the thread. Threading the upper thread. Put a spool on the thread spindle, then put on a thread spindle cover. Put the thread so it passes through the bobbin winder tension disc. Down through the gap, pull it back up as the arrow shows, through the take-up lever, then through the hole next to the needle clamp screw. Or, use hands to put the thread into the hole through the gap. Easily thread the needle by sticking the needle threader through the eye from back to front. Put the thread through the wire of the threader and pull the threader back out. Caution! The needle eye must be threaded from front to back for the sewing machine to work. Replacing the bobbin. Slide the bobbin cover off and remove the empty bobbin. Put the new bobbin in the holder with the thread going clockwise. Leave 5 to 10 cm of thread hanging out. Hold the needle thread with one hand and with the other hand, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise and the needle thread will pick up the bobbin thread and pull it up through the hole under the needle. Separate the two threads and pull them to the back of the machine under the presser foot, leaving about 15 cm hanging there. Now replace the bobbin cover. Caution! Always make sure the bobbin thread has been picked up with about 15 cm hanging out before you start to sew. Replacing the needle. To prevent injury from accidentally starting up the machine, make sure to turn up the switch or the plug. Hold the old needle and loosen the needle clamp screw. Remove the needle and discard it responsibly. 
Insert a new needle into the clamp with the flat side of the needle facing the back. Toward the presser foot bar, be sure to push the needle all the way up, then tighten the screw. Caution! Always remove the batteries or unplug the adapter before you change the needle. Make sure the new needle faces the right way and the screw is tightened. Presser foot replacement Removing the presser foot Turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and press the presser foot locking lever. The presser foot will drop off automatically from the locking device. Installing the presser foot Put the presser foot under the presser foot locking device. Lower the presser foot lifter. Press the presser foot locking device to reset the foot. And lift the presser foot lifter. If the foot has been picked up, then you're done. If not, check to make sure the foot is exactly under the locking device and repeat the steps. Once you are done setting up the machine, you can start to sew. Sewing First, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise to raise the needle to its highest position. Second, raise the presser foot lifter and place the fabric you want to sew under the presser foot. Third, lower the presser foot. Fourth, turn the hand wheel counterclockwise several times to make sure there is no jamming in the stitches. Fifth, slide the power switch to the low or high speed position and the machine will automatically start sewing. We recommend the low speed for beginners. Six. Turn up the switch, raise the needle to its highest position. Turn the pattern selection dial to set a number to the position of the arrow. The number you choose is corresponding to the stitch beside. Here, I randomly choose 3, 5, 8, 10 to demonstrate. When you want to change stitch type, stop sewing and turn the hand well to raise the needle all the way up so it doesn't get bent. 7. To sew backwards, press and hold down the reverse lever while you are sewing. You should only use reverse sewing on straight stitches. This is useful when reinforcing the steam. 8. When you are finished sewing, turn off the switch, unplug the adapter, turn the hand wheel to raise the needle all the way up, lift the presser foot, and then gently remove the fabric from the sewing machine and cut the thread with the thread cutter. Caution! If it's difficult to remove the fabric, turn the hand wheel to raise the needle bar to the highest position and gently pull the fabric out. Now, let's see the another function of this machine. Sewing sleeves. To remove the drawer, position the garment over the sewing arm, then start to sew. Manual buttonhole. 1. Put cloth under presser foot and press down the presser foot on the cloth. Where you need to sew buttonhole, then choose the 11 stitch, turn on the switch, and sew 5 to 6 stitch in low speed. Then turn off switch. 2. Choose the 12 stitch, turn on switch and sew on a cloth in suitable length. Then turn off stitch. Know that try to keep sewed stitch in straight line. 3. Choose the 11 stitch to sew 5 to 6 stitch in low speed. Then turn off switch. 4. Choose the presser foot. Turn the cloth head back. Set the needle to the right position on the cloth. Then press down the presser foot. Choose 12 stitch. Turn on a switch and sew to bottom hole is over sewed fully, then stop sewing. Nailing button. Change the presser foot to nail with held presser foot. Put the cloth under presser foot. Put the button on the cloth where you need to nail the button. Move the cloth with button under presser foot. Check if they are under the right position. Then press down the presser foot. Choose the stitch based on the distance between the hole of the button. You can choose 11 stitch or 6 or 7 stitch. Turn the hand wheel slowly, adjusting the position of the hole while the needle swinging around. And check if the stitch you choose is appropriate. 
then turn on switch. So four to five stitch in low speed, then turn off switch after done. If you want to nail cross line or double line, doing the steps as above. Caution: Before nailing button, you must use hand to turn the handrail slowly and make sure the needle will only step into the button hole while swinging around in case of breaking the needle. You must choose the right stitch to nail based on the distance between the hole of button, because nailing on the side of button will break the needle. Now, in case you have trouble using the machine, we will go over some common problems and the solutions. Important safety instructions: One, always disconnect from the power supply when changing the needle. Two, children should only use the appliance with adult supervision. Three, never run the machine when there is thread in the needle, but no fabric on the machine. This could damage the machine. Four, don't use the machine outdoors. Five. Whenever the sewing machine is not in use, make sure it is switched off and unplugged from the power supply. Six, keep the machine in a dry and ventilated place. Seven, this machine is not a toy. Eight, don't disassemble the machine unless you are a professional. Nine, turn off switch and unplug the adapter when you are not using the machine.